something or someone. You should say who or what you waited for, where you waited, why you waited or had to wait, and explain how you felt while you were waiting. Answer. Having to wait for somebody is a common situation in our daily lives. There was this one time I had to wait for my friends, which was so special I'd like to share the story with you today. It was my birthday and I had invited a group of friends to a coffee house to celebrate it. We were scheduled to meet there at eight that evening. I was so eager that I came early. Certainly none of them were there, but it was easy to understand because I was early. However, I waited for half an hour, but nobody showed up. And then I started to feel uncomfortable and worried. As I was losing my patience, I began to call each of them to ask why they had not come yet. To my surprise, none of them picked up the phone. I was really fed up, as you can imagine, because it was my birthday and my friends had treated me like that. I waited for a couple more minutes until I couldn't stand it anymore and decided to leave. As soon as I called the waiter for the bill, I heard the happy birthday song start up in the coffee house. Out of nowhere, all of my friends suddenly appeared with a birthday cake. They hugged me and wished me happy birthday. It was such a surprise. My anger quickly gave way to laughter and we had an unforgettable night, chatting until the early hours, drinking coffee and of course, eating cake. Vocabulary, show up, to arrive where you had arranged to meet somebody. Example, it was getting late when she finally showed up. Lose my patience. To become annoyed or angry as a result of a delay. Example, the train is now one hour late and I am losing my patience. Fed up, bored and unhappy, especially with a situation that has continued for a long time. Example, the traffic congestion in our city never seems to get better, so people are really fed up with the time it takes to get to work. Stand something, to dislike, used especially in negative sentences. Example, I like John, but I can't stand his sister. She is very rude. Out of nowhere, appearing or happening suddenly and unexpectedly. Example, the woman cried for help and out of nowhere, a policeman arrived. Hug, to put your arms around someone and hold them tightly to show that you like or love them. Example, the child ran out of the school and he hugged his mother who was waiting at the school gate. The early hours, early in the morning, for example, about two, three or four a.m., Describe a time when you waited for. Describe someone or something that made a lot of noise. You should say who or what made the noise, what the noise was like, and explain what you did when you heard this noise. Answer. If you live in Vietnam long enough, you will totally agree with me that those who are driving make a lot of noise, especially during peak traffic hours. Vietnamese roads have never been free of the honking noises of all kinds of vehicles, from vans and cars to mopeds. It is, in my opinion, the most annoying sound you could imagine. Whenever I heard people honking like angry geese, I felt very annoyed and frustrated. Vietnamese people should learn when to use the horn properly. 
It seems to me that they push the horn all the time because they want to be able to drive fast while everyone else gets out of their way. Despite the fact that I hate it so much, I cannot give up driving here. So I learned to ignore it and use my horn sparingly or just in case of an emergency. However, I still think that the city should have a campaign on educating people to use the horn in a proper way so that the city is not polluted by noise. Vocabulary. Peak traffic hours. The times when there is most traffic on the roads, usually when people are traveling to or from work. Example. Because of all the traffic, it is difficult to cross the road during peak traffic hours. Honk. If you honk the horn of a car or other vehicle, it makes a loud noise like a warning sound. Example. She knew that the taxi had arrived because she heard the horn honking outside the door. Geese. This is the plural form of goose. A large bird with a long neck. It makes a loud honking noise. Example. The geese were on the lake with some smaller birds nearby, which were probably ducks. Horn. A device in a vehicle for making a loud noise as a warning. Example. In the traffic jam, some of the drivers were honking the horns of their cars because they were frustrated with the delay. Get out of the way. Move out of the route which someone else is taking. Example, all of the drivers got out of the way to allow the ambulance to pass. Sparingly, in a way that is careful so that we only use a little. Example, he spent his money sparingly because he only had enough for a simple meal. Describe someone or something that made a lot of noise. You should say who or what made the noise, what the noise was like, and explain what you did when you heard this noise. Answer. If you live in Vietnam long enough, you will totally agree with me that those who are driving make a lot of noise especially during peak traffic hours. Vietnamese roads have never been free of the honking noises of all kinds of vehicles, from vans and cars to mopeds. It is, in my opinion, the most annoying sound you could imagine. Whenever I heard people honking like angry geese, I felt very annoyed and frustrated. Vietnamese people should learn when to use the horn properly. It seems to me that they push the horn all the time because they want to be able to drive fast while everyone else gets out of their way. Despite the fact that I hate it so much, I cannot give up driving here. So I learned to ignore it and use my horn sparingly or just in case of an emergency. However, I still think that the city should have a campaign on educating people to use the horn in a proper way so that the city is not polluted by noise. Vocabulary. Peak traffic hours. The times when there is most traffic on the roads, usually when people are traveling to or from work. Example, because of all the traffic, it is difficult to cross the road during peak traffic hours. Honk. If you honk the horn of a car or other vehicle, it makes a loud noise like a warning sound. Example, she knew that the taxi had arrived because she heard the horn honking outside the door. Geese. 
This is the plural form of goose, a large bird with a long neck. It makes a loud honking noise. Example, the geese were on the lake with some smaller birds nearby, which were probably ducks. Horn, a device in a vehicle for making a loud noise as a warning. Example, in the traffic jam, some of the drivers were honking the horns of their cars because they were frustrated with the delay. Get out of the way. Move out of the route which someone else is taking. Example, all of the drivers got out of the way to allow the ambulance to pass. Sparingly, in a way that is careful so that we only use a little. Example, he spent his money sparingly because he only had enough for a simple meal 